हरे कृष्णा सो नाउ अर्जुना हैज गॉट साक्षात दर्शन ऑफ द फोर हैंडेड फॉर्म ऑफ द लॉर्ड होल्डिंग शंख चक्र गदा पद्म एंड विदाउट अर्जुना फर्दर रिक्वेस्ट कृष्णा मैनिफेस्ट इज ओरिजिनल टू हैंड्रेड फॉर्म होल्डिंग द फ्लूट एंड नाउ अर्जुना इज वेरी वेरी हैप्पी वेरी ब्लिसफुल एंड आफ्टर टेकिंग दिस दर्शन इन दैट एक्सटैटिक मोड अर्जुना इज स्पीकिंग लेट सी दिस नाउ श्लोका नंबर फिफ्टी वन अर्जुन उवाच दृष्टेदुषम रूपम तव सौम्यम जनार्दन इदानी अस्म संवृत्त सचेत प्रकृति गो अर्जुन इज सई दृष्ट दृष्ट इदम मनुषम रूपम तव सौम्य जनार्दना ओ जनार्दना सींग दिस मनुषम रूपम तव मनुषम रूपम सींग योर ह्यूमन लाइक फॉर्म सौम्य सो वेरी ब्यूटिफुल इदानीम अस्मि संवृत्त नाउ माय माइंड इज कंपोज्ड स चेत प्रकृति गत एंड आई एम रिस्टोर्ड टू माय ओरिजिनल नेचर सो अर्जुना इज बैक दिस व्हाट ही सींग आई एम बैक he is back in his original state as a friend of krishna as a very very intimate associate of krishna now this is a very important thing that is mentioned here so we we'll look at few points manusham roopam clearly indicates the supreme personality of god had to be originally two handed now this is a very important point that is again and again repeated that krishna his he has a human like form many times people ask that uh, why does krishna look like human beings krishna does not look like human beings we human beings look like krishna so there is a great difference so he has created on his uh, created us in his own image so now when we consider krishna you know in his original form as a normal ordinary human being then such people are really ignorant they are in complete darkness they have no knowledge from bhagavad gita or any other vedic scriptures at least the ones who read bhagavad gita 11th chapter it's a revelation a person who is displaying 400 fo- sorry displaying the universal form and then immediately displaying 400 form again coming back to 200 form is what a joke or what <laughs> who can do this who can do this it's only the supreme personality of godhead who can actually manifest such a huge universal form and again come back to his original form this is the proof that krishna is a supreme personality of godhead and there's no question of asking who saw universal form we are unqualified how will see universal form arjuna saw universal form a great warrior devi devta saw the universal form and the one who has written you know this uh, uh, who appended down the bhagavad gita you know lord ganpati he was doing that and vyasadeva was dictating so when they are writing you know that krishna is supreme personality of godhead he is he is the one who is source of everything he is greatest of all so they will have some doubt no 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 i don't think so hmm? <laughs> so they have written it vasudev the literary incarnation of krishna he has dictated it so when all such great personalities are accepting that krishna is supreme personality of godhead what is the problem with chutku jeevas like us in this age of kali we are so unqualified we are so fallen so contaminated and in that contaminated consciousness we want to comment something on bhagavad gita we want to comment something on krishna so this is not fair hmm. this is not fair at all so when we read bhagavad gita there's a lot of clarity that comes hmm. the all that contamination that is there that will all be removed so this understanding of the scripture is very very important we'll get a lot of clarity not just clarity about krishna and ourself we'll get a lot of clarity about our entire life we'll know what next to do we'll know how to practice devotional service we will be fixed in the goal that we need to attain this very lifetime so here we see that krishna manifested his you know, manusham roopam his human like form which is saumya very very beautiful so we saw in the previous video that how beautiful the form of the lord is so when such form is manifested here arjuna is becoming very blissful and he understands that he is supreme personality of godhead here it is said that krishna has actually shown his universal form and his 400 vishnu form so how can he be an ordinary human being 
It's a very important question. <laughs> if Krishna, okay, so it is very clearly stated in Bhagavad Gita, one who thinks that Krishna is an ordinary person and who misguides the reader by claiming that it is the impersonal Brahman within Krishna speaking is doing the greatest injustice. If the commentators of Bhagavad Gita, if they are not giving proper commentary, proper understanding, proper explanation of Krishna being the Supreme Personality of Godhead and not Brahman, they are actually doing a great injustice because they are actually driving people to a very wrong path. Because we understand Brahman is secondary to Krishna. The Brahman effulgence coming from the body of the Lord is secondary, subordinate. Krishna is that original uh, personality. He is the source and everything else is manifesting from him. Then how can we say that Brahman is speaking? How can Brahman speak? Brahman does not have mouth. <laughs> how can he speak? So it's a very important understanding. Somehow this contamination has creeped in throughout the whole world of the Lord being impersonal, not having a form. But here it's very clear, Arjuna is seeing a form and he's becoming blissful by seeing that form. And that form itself is the form of Supreme Personality of Godhead. So we devotees have to be very, very careful in what are we reading. Unnecessarily we shouldn't get into some commentaries by some person who has no authority, who is not connected to any parampara. There is no point in reading those commentaries. Max to max what will happen? Our faith will get deterred and will go out of bhakti. That's what will happen. We will subscribe to some other uh, bogus philosophy and then we will stop, stop doing the Yuga Dharma, chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So it's a very important point to note that when we are reading Shastra, it has to be bona fide. So Prabhupada, when he was translating, when he was writing purports, he has written it very clearly, Bhagavad Gita as it is. There is no concoction, there is no removal of Krishna as a person from Bhagavad Gita, there is no question of highlighting something else apart from devotional service, by, by practicing which we can actually attain Krishna. So Prabhupada was very clear, very very clear. And in this way we understand in this particular verse, another very important thing is, when was Arjuna back you know, to his original position? When he was restored back to his original nature? When he got Sakshat Darshan of Lord Sri Krishna? Hmm. So we all will be restored to our original nature when we actually attain Krishna. Hmm. As of now, you know, we are troubled by so many things in this world. Even now when we are practicing devotional service, there is so much of trouble because of past samskaras or beat people around or beat anything that is surrounding us. We are troubled by them. Adi Atmika, Adi Bhautika, Adi Daivika Kleshas. So all these sufferings caused by body and mind, other living entities and the you know, superior energies, all of them are tormenting us. We are tormented in the cycle of birth, death, disease, old age. All of this suffering and misery will come to an end when we attain Krishna. So we have no other goal in life. There is only one goal in life. Our goal of life is to attain Krishna. We are not here in this world to settle, <laughs> to become stable as many, many people say. We are not here to settle, we are not here to become stable. We are here to attain Krishna, to break the cycle of birth and death, go back home, back to Godhead. When? This very lifetime. There is no other question apart from this. So how should be our practice? Our practice should be very, very intense. Our hankering and greed to attain Krishna should be very intense. And only then, there is a possibility that we will be able to attain Krishna this very lifetime. So, and here we see Arjuna is so blissful, so blissful taking darshan of Lord Sri Krishna. Now after taking darshan of the Lord, now Arjuna is busy taking darshan. So now Lord starts speaking. So let's see, what are the ending verses of this chapter spoken by the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna? Let's see that in the next video. Hare Krishna.